It's a disturbing insight into how Queensland police can deal with the homeless. Captured on video surveillance cameras, a man whom police admit was disturbing no one is kicked and punched while being pinned to the ground. I reckon they shouldn't do that. They should help me. The plight of Peter Willemay has reopened the debate about police training and procedures when dealing with society's most vulnerable. If you can't control your anger towards people who you are supposed to be protecting and who you are supposed to be treating with respect and dignity, get out of the job. On the surface, there's certainly something for us to look at, um, and as a result of that, there may be a full investigation conducted. The officers who arrested Peter Willemay were based in Brisbane's Fortitude Valley, a popular night spot where police frequently come into contact with drunk and violent offenders. But shortly before midnight on March the 20th, Peter Willemay and his friend were anything but violent. So I was sitting down there very nicely, comfortable and all that, and then suddenly they come and harass me. A police officer tells Mr Willamay he cannot drink alcohol in a public place and asks him to get rid of his drink. When he refuses, the officer searches Mr Willamay's bag. The situation rapidly deteriorates when Mr Willamay throws down another bag and a scuffle breaks out. And that's when a third party becomes involved. There was no apparent need for force to be used, and um, so I just sort of mentioned that. And then quite suddenly the officer turned on me and uh, pursued me and I was then arrested. Chris Randall was charged with obstructing police in their duties, and it was he who applied for and was granted this video footage to use in his court hearing. It was so absurd. It was like, this is... Ridiculous. Last week, Chris Randall had his day in court. Magistrate Graham Lee dismissed the charge and awarded costs to Mr Randall. The magistrate found the officer who arrested Mr Willamay and searched his bag had acted unlawfully, as police don't have the power to arrest someone simply because they're drinking in public. He did not go about what he should do properly, uh, including he unlawfully started to search this man's property. Uh, and, and as a consequence, from that point onwards, the, ho the whole behaviour of the police was unlawful. The subsequent treatment of Mr Willamay was shown in court, despite objections from the police prosecutor. Under cross-examination, the arresting officer said he thought it was appropriate to force Mr Willamay on the ground and knee him. Andrew Bowe, the lawyer acting for both Mr Willamay and Mr Randall, says the whole episode raises questions about police training. Police are going in there underskilled uh, and with very limited skills of people management to, to, to go to physical restraint involving knocking people down and kneeing them when the original offence would not even attract a, criminal, uh, a jail sentence is wrong. As an organisation we have a responsibility to ensure that our people are adhering to our code of conduct uh, and that we treat people with respect. Deputy Police Commissioner Cathy Rinders says the arrest of Mr Willamay has been referred to Police Ethical Standards Command and although she can't comment on the particulars of this case, she says Queensland Police are constantly reviewing their training. Clearly we observe the behaviour of our people and if we believe that the uh, actions of the officer perhaps don't fit with our normal uh, way of operating, we will then have a look at the circumstances surrounding it. Is it an issue where the individual officer needs perhaps some retraining or some advice by a senior supervisor or is there a system-wide problem? This is not the first time a heavy-handed police arrest has been captured on Brisbane City Council surveillance cameras. Two years ago, old age pensioner Bruce Rowe was harshly dealt with after taking too long to get changed in a public toilet. Charges against him were quashed by Queensland's highest court only last month. Is it perhaps unfair to just focus on a couple of arrests where police may have gone over the top, given the context of they've got a very difficult job to do? It, it, it's unfair if you don't make the concession that this is as difficult a job as we can ask people in our public service to undertake. But merely because it's difficult does not mean that we let go when document, documented uh, abuses of that power occur. Um, uh, and if you don't have the skills to restrain yourself in that environment, or if you're too 
uh, predisposed to make moral judgments of people who are doing less fortunately than you, get out of the job. We have thousands of interactions with homeless people every year. Very few of them result in complaints. Um, of course, there will always be occasions where people behave in a way that we don't um, see as suitable and we'll take appropriate action. Peter Willemay's case was heard by a different magistrate without the video footage. He was found guilty and fined $400. And now he wants to put the events of March the 20th behind him. I just want to get the accommodation so I can stay away from everything, that's all. You'd like somewhere to live? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it.